This is Voices from the Field with Katie Lively and Jaden Mount. Um, we have Tristan Maddox here today, East Texas Baptist University. Um, she is a 2024 national champion. Um, just to name a few of her accolades, she was the Honda and CWSA National Athlete of the Year, NFCA and NCAA Division III National Player of the Year, ASC Female Athlete of the Year, ASC Softball Player of the Year, and NFSA, NFCA All-American, just to name a few. We'd be here for hours, I feel like, if I didn't <laughs> through the whole list. Um, just a few of what she's accomplished um, at her university. So thank you for being here, and we'll just get right into it. We really want to hit on recruiting for you. Um, so tell us about your recruiting process. Um, how did you pick e, um, e, ETBU, and just tell us kind of how you went around that process. Yeah, um, so I didn't really know anything about ETBU from, you know, it's a small school and it's in a really small area. I'd never heard of Marshall, Texas. Um, I had actually went to a camp at UT Dallas and the assistant coach, Coach Westbrook, was there and she saw me and I guess she liked what she saw. So we got in communication and I went to a camp and a little visit at ETBU and I really loved the, the community there, the feel of the school and like how welcoming the whole softball staff was coach Shirley coach Galloway like I really liked everything about the program and what they had built and I knew it was a winning program so there was a chance for a national championship so that was another big reason and something that they talked about on my visit was like it was competitive and we compete every day against our, our own teammates to like you know make each other better push each other and that was a big thing that I really liked about their program so that really pushed me to attend each of you awesome um, what, like when you're like going through your recruiting process, what were you looking for in a college? You said like the competitive aspect, but, um, kind of prioritize or what was your priorities like list wise, um, when you were looking for a college? Um, I was really looking for somewhere that I would feel comfortable. I mean, it would have been my first time away from home. So it was, it was going to be a big adjustment regardless, but I think finding somewhere that I knew I could fit in and having, you know, a Christian centered college was also really interesting to me. I didn't really grow up in the church, but I did want to get closer to God. So that really helped me um, make that decision. And um, just like I said, Coach Shirley and Coach Galloway preaching the working hard and like the work ethic that they had there was probably one of the biggest things I was looking for in every college. And I knew it wasn't going to be like an easy walk in the park. Like I was going to be challenged every day and show up and want to work. And all the other girls on the team were expected to do the same. So that was what I was really looking for whenever I was recruiting. Yeah, that's cool. So. You mentioned um, finding the right fit. We actually just got off an interview with Coach Shirley, and mm -hmm. that was one of her big things with recruiting is finding where you fit, finding where you belong. Um, so that's cool that y'all had a very similar answer on that. So on top of, you know, finding your fit and finding where you feel comfortable, you had a very successful career, um, very consistent. I think it's really hard to be really good for a long time. It, you know, having one good year, is obviously so impressive, but having multiple great years is really hard to achieve. So how did you stay consistent? What do you feel like contributed to your success um, while you played at ATBU? Um, I think for sure it wasn't just me. It was like my teammates as well. Like I said, we all push each other to be better every day, even in practice. So that was one big thing. But um, I think something that I've learned to focus on is like taking everything a day at a time and not really stressing like if you have a bad game just shake it off it's not the end of the world there's bigger things to worry about honestly um really ultimately I'm at school to get a degree and softball is just something I do for fun so making sure I keep having fun while I'm playing is really something that I've been focusing on for the past two years mostly and um I think like having such a supportive team and coaching staff and everything it really helps with like the whole staying calm and relaxed on the field kind of thing. Um, I know that if I can't get something done, I have a whole other, like the rest of my team can get something done and it's not all on me all the time. So that helps with playing calm, cool and collected. Yes, yes. sure. That is key to it. I love that. I love that. Absolutely. Um, I like the part where you said, like, just leaning on your teammates. Um, mm -hmm. Softball is a team sport. It's a sport of failure. So, like, when you're not getting it done, like, the next person up can step up. And Coach Shirley mentioned, like, y'all just have fun. Like, mm -hmm. y'all don't even care about the outcome. Like, y'all just play to have fun. And um, she mentioned that y'all uh, 
y'all hosted the national championship in 2023 and kind of saw those other girls like having fun on your field and it kind of lit a fire and you're under you and um y'all just came out in 2024 and was like that's going to be us so I think that's really cool um so as as someone as successful as you were and staying at ETBU for four years like what advice would you give to high schoolers or people just now starting the recruiting process um definitely it doesn't matter like going to a d1 d2 d3 I mean honestly the competitiveness at every level is intense. It's way more than high school and it's way more than you would expect. So I don't think that that is really a big factor in deciding where you go, but um, be yourself whenever it comes to like talking to coaches and, you know, you want to find somewhere that your true self is going to fit in at and don't be afraid to have fun and reach out to other people and make good experiences. Cause the four years, honestly, I didn't think we're going to go by as fast as they did. I remember <laughs> being a freshman, like, Oh my gosh, this is so much. I'm never going to get through it. But like finishing my fourth year, it was just insane. Cause it flies by. And I remember like all of the memories that I made with my teammates and meeting other people, even on the campus, it was really fun and something that like, I'm never going to get back. So um, that's, Another reason why I decided to take my fifth year and I'm going to play again next season. Um, I'm Ooh, not okay. ready to be done. So I wasn't ready to give up a sport that like I've been playing my whole life. And um, I would just say to enjoy every moment of it because it does fly by really fast. How do you plan on, you know, leading this team being a fifth year? That experience is invaluable to um, helping the freshmen and the sophomores and even the juniors, people below you um, class wise, leading them you know, to a national championship, you've done it before. So what do you plan on bringing to the team this year um, as a fifth year, as experienced as you are and as successful as you are to the team um, to hopefully have a repeat back-to-back -back year for national championship? Um, so this year, what our big thing was, was like loving each other and, you know, having fun with everything we do. Um, I think that that was a big thing that helped us win this year. So I would think next year I would bring the same thing, the energy to practice, to game days, to even though in the weight room, like, checking on my, my teammates, making sure everybody's good mentally, physically. Um, but also like being that voice for like, if you're having a problem, like we can talk it out, we can figure it out. And you know, like, it's just, it's just softball. It's not the end of the world. It's not gonna kill you or anything. So I think making sure that everybody on my team is like, feels the love and feels like we're all having fun doing what we need to do and staying calm and just understanding that it's just a game and it should be fun and we should be enjoying every moment of it instead of stressing about it. Absolutely. Yes. Having Absolutely. fun. I love it. Well, awesome. Thank you so much, Tristan, for, for jumping on the call. Um, we want to make it quick. I know you're busy, probably enjoying your summer a little bit before everything starts back up. So we just appreciate you taking the time. Um, you gave us some really good insight for recruiting that I think that people that are watching this will definitely be able to, to take from it in their recruiting process. So I wish you the best of luck for your fifth year. Um, that's so exciting. And we hope to be able to stay in contact, stay in touch, and just keep up with you as you go through this next year. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank yep, you. Good Have luck. Good Bye.